Within a few pages, I thought, God, this is really something else. It is a crime drama, but there's so much going on behind closed doors. Just every page, you wanted to find out what's her narrative, where's she going, where's this story going? It just feels like this whole show is just Liverpool, just like fizzing and like electric and on fire. Yeah, Davey, you seen Casey the last few days? I wanted his responder to be as real as it could possibly be. And I suppose I've got the luxury of knowing that well. A responder is someone who kicks in doors, who fights literal sometimes and metaphorical fires. I predominantly set this of a night in Liverpool. We used to work six nights, six 12 hour nights. And by that final night, you felt like you were walking through mud. I tried to put my own life into it and my own fears and my own anxieties and Martin was doing the same. That's maybe the reason why it's honest, like Tony's writing is so honest. It's a man, it's a character who clearly has a lot of stuff going on. Chris is good, he's bad, he's funny, he's horrible, he's selfish, he's loving. He's human and I, I really like that. Oh, yeah. Martin is an extraordinary actor. We've seen him do so many different kinds of roles. So I think one of the things he was drawn to in The Responder is playing a character unlike one that he's played before. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Thanks for asking. What he plays beautifully is a struggle against vulnerability and being extremely vulnerable at the same time. He can pull that off. It, this is a kind of colour I haven't seen him in. I can't show on this, can I? Thanks. I love him too much. Rachel, she got high expectations and uh, she starts to learn that the world doesn't look like as she expected. Together with Chris, they will teach it, each other in different ways. What are you doing? The biggest present she gave us is like putting herself into it. What sort of drew me to Rachel made me want to yeah, play her. There's an honesty to her and like a, just a desperate need to get things right. She has this very push and pull relationship with Chris and she can't control that. She learns very quickly that she has no idea what he's going to do next. And you also see that with the characters that they encounter. You have got to keep it inside. Do you understand? Ian Hart, he plays a, a character you love to hate. Chris and Carl have known each other since, I guess we're sort of saying since schoolish days. You are a good friend. One's ended up as a cop, one's ended up not as a cop. That doesn't preclude them not having a relationship. That doesn't exclude that possibility. Why are you making a song and dance out of this? Just help me, help me. Some people end up in one aspect, some people end up in another, but they're just trying to make their way through their little lives. And where those two things intersect is where the kind of drama happens. Have you seen her? Ooh. Casey. Chris and Casey's relationship for me is a kind of father-daughter relationship, but she doesn't want it to be. Care for yourself, support yourself, and be kind to yourself. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> what? And I think that's a really sad part about their relationship because I actually think he's probably the most consistent thing in her life. Marco is a young lad who has found himself a little bit adrift. I'm working here, Marco. Do you want to buy some cheese? The complexity of Tony's characters really shines out in the script. And it's a gift, really, for, like, for actors. I was fascinated to see that Martin was playing this character. Working with him is honestly, it's a, it's a quality, like, A, a learning experience, but he's the king of, like, keeping things fresh and keeping things live. The main thing that is appealing about uh, The Responder, it's not just bad versus good, it's just so much more of a grey area. You are disappearing. Kate has been trying to be supportive, trying to hold things together, and she herself is unravelling. When talking about anything to do with mental health, to talk about the people around those who are really suffering, because they are also suffering. And that's what struck home for me with Kate and really resonated with me. And I feel heartbroken for her. I think at its core, really, it's an examination of relationships and of, uh, you know, a man's life spiraling out of control. 
We all get Marcos, we all get Casey's, we certainly get Chris's. People are very similar, like it becomes very universal by being so specific about Liverpool. Right, I'm, I'm from Warrington. Uh, well, you know, the humour in the heart of like Scousers, I think it's really going to connect to people, no matter where they're from. What? <laughs> Any need, like? I wanted it to be different. I wanted it to look different and sound different and be different. I wanted to draw in all these amazing characters who I'd meet every single night and give them a story and give them depth. Seeing real people in real situations, sometimes winning, sometimes losing, that just transcends. There are many cop dramas, and this is a different beast entirely. It's a really emotionally and mentally fascinating world. You've no idea what's going to come your way. We're kind of throwing the audience right into the intensity of what that must be like. It's not like anything else you've seen, and it doesn't offer answers. It's chaotic and unsettling. It's such important work. I don't think it is. I think it's whack-a-mole. Except the moles wear trackies. <laughs>